Becoming a U.S. citizen is a dream for many people across the world. Achieving that U.S. citizenship can be considered a culmination of a lifelong dream. Now, to achieve that lifelong dream, we have with us attorney Flomi Diza from the law firm of Reeves, Miller, Zhang, and Diza. Attorney, welcome back. Good afternoon, Josh. It's always great to be here. Always great to have you. Thank you. Now, let's get right into it. We always hear this term thrown around of naturalization. You know, you need to be naturalized to become a U.S. citizen. What does it mean exactly, and what does it entail? That's true. Naturalization is a process of obtaining a uh, U.S. citizenship for people who were born outside the United States, kagaya natin, who, uh, kagaya natin mga Pilipino, who came here and became a permanent resident. Yeah, many of our Canadians as well, I'm that's, sure. That's correct. And what are the benefits of becoming naturalized? Oh, madami yan, Joss. Um, Unang-una dyan is the right to vote. Uh, pangalawa is the right to uh, travel with a U.S. passport. Pag may U.S. passport ka, you don't need a visa to travel around, around the world. Then also, it's a lot faster and easier for you to petition a family member, especially for your spouse or minor children or even fiancé. And also, if uh, you travel abroad, for example, mga kababayan natin, gusto, natin, gusto nilang mag-retire uh, um, sa Pilipinas, you know, they can stay there forever and come back as a U.S. citizen. So is it safe to say that a naturalized U.S. citizen has the same rights as a born U.S. citizen. That's correct. At the same time, also in addition to that, benefits kung may, uh, if you commit a crime, no, hindi ka na pwedeng deport because you're already a U.S. citizen. Now, what are the requirements to become a naturalized U.S. citizen? Marami yan. Unang-una is uh, be a permanent resident for five years or three years pag married to U.S. citizen. Mm -hmm. Pangalawa would be yung continuous physical presence in the United States. Pangatlo would be good moral character. Ibig sabihin, the applicant should not have committed a major felony, right? Or for people male like uh, you, who are 18 to 26 must register with the Selective Service kasi otherwise wala silang good moral character. Then the last one would be they need to pass the English um, Civic History Test. Mm. Yung Civic History, there are like 100 questions, but you need to uh, pass at least or answer six correctly out of the 10 questions. What about for uh, same-sex couples, for example? Oh, what uh, kind of rights do they have? Same-sex couple has been recognized in the United States since 2015 when the U.S. Supreme Court declared the Defense of Marriage Act yung the DOMA. Yung DOMA. Right, That's right. correct. Mm -hmm. uh, the DOMA actually was a law that uh, prohibits the marriage of same-sex and prohibits obtaining immigration benefits or federal benefits. But since 2005, just anywhere in the United States, people can get married you know, with regard to the same sex. So no more, uh, no more LDRs. What no more LDRs. Uh, relationships, right? Say goodbye to those. Correct. But take <laughs> mo sa mga kanation natin sa Pilipinas, hindi ba pwede ang same-sex marriage doon. Right. So the, the uh, solution to that is do a fiancé petition, bring the fiancé here and marry here in the United States. There you go. Um, the last thing I want to ask you is if, for example, you filed for a naturalization uh, application, what happens when you get denied or if you get denied? We file, you know, do it correctly with an attorney like us or uh, do an appeal with the, uh, um, with the case. All right, attorney, last thing. Is there a message that you want to send to our Canadians, especially for those who may be on the fence about um, becoming a naturalized U.S. citizen? Yes, just um, sa ating mga Canadians na hindi pa nagpa-file ng kanilang naturalization at nabanggit natin kanina, there's a lot of benefits of becoming a U.S. citizen. At kung kayo po ay mga green card holder lang, pwede po pa kayong i-deport at magkakaroon ng problema pag hindi po kayo nag-citizen. There's a lot of um, pitfalls in uh, applying for naturalization. It's a good idea to sit down with an immigration attorney. We at Reeves Miller Zhang and Visa, we have offices, several offices all throughout the United States. We have one in Makati office. Our office number is 1-800-795-8009. Marami pong salamat. All right, Attorney Diza, well, I got to say thank you for helping our nation's American dreams come true. Maboy po kayo. Salamat, Diyos.